don't mess with my girl. You want to be tough like me, Mr. T? Then eat Mr. T cereal, fortified with vitamin C. To make you strong like me, Mr. T. Uh, I pity the fool who doesn't eat Mr. T cereal. Wrestling fans, this Saturday evening, December 14th, WWE returns to the Pittsburgh Civic Arena. What a card we have on store for you. First match of the evening, Intercontinental Championship between the one and only Tito Santana putting his belt on the line against the magnificent Morocco and Mr. Fuji. Unbelievable. Next match on the evening, Andre the Giant going against the one and only Big John Stud. Oh, they're going to have to reinforce the ring for that one. Next match up, WWF title on the line, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, of all people in Pittsburgh this Saturday, going against Rowdy Roddy Piper. Speaking of Rowdy Roddy Piper, you won't believe who we have with us today. Rowdy Roddy Piper Sr. Unbelievable with his two wrestlers, Luscious Lou and the Iron Sheik. They will be putting their tag team title belts on the line against the former champions, the People's Choice, King Kong Kramer Look at and Bob Backlund, who's out of the hospital because of this man right here, Luscious Lou. Unbelievable. Foul. Foul is what they're calling. Foul. Foul. Foul, no foul. This isn't basketball. This isn't baseball. It's wrestling. And these are my two men right here. He just gave them the claw. Well, obviously, folks, we see where Rowdy Roddy Piper gets his temperament from and his actions from. Senior Rowdy Roddy Piper. Luscious Lou, you're the one who put the American Dream, Bob Backlund in the hospital. Tell us about it. It was wonderful. Let me tell you, baby, it was great. Hey, see these? Look at this, it's a hand. You do it like this, it's a claw. You put it on a head, it's a killer. <laughs> what a sick individual he is. We don't need none of that out of you, okay? Iron Sheik making these comments over here about Bob Backlund. Backlund bullshit. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Automatic city. Iron City. Hawk Pool. Bob Backlund, King Kong Kramer. Hawk Pool. I pay for rug. I'll pay for the rug. Bob Backlund bullshit. Physical fitness. Bullshit. Bob Backlund. No shape at all. Bullshit, King Kong Kramer. <laughs> Obviously, a person limited to his vocabulary. Turning back to Bob Lou, uh, Luscious Lou. <laughs> Bob Lou, get it right. You the manager or not? I'm the manager. You're supposed to be the. Duh, you piece of. Uh, get away from me. Talk, talk, talk. Tell him. <laughs> Give me this thing. Let me tell you something. You see this? You see that? That's the heavyweight championship belt. It's a tag team belt, baby. It's a tag team belt. And we got them. Let me tell you. We went to Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden. It's in my backyard. My backyard, baby. Not yours, but mine. I live in the Big Apple. I live in the Big Apple. To be exact, I live in the Bronx, baby. Rough town, USA. And I know all the dirty tricks. I know all the illegal moves. I will hurt you. I will maim you with stuff like this. You talk about Bob Backlund and a big fat guy they call King Kong Kramer. Ha. We want athletes in this. Get away from me. We want athletes. Let me tell you, we want athletes in this wrestling thing. We call a wrestling athletics. I don't think that, that's not true. Some people are in it for the money, some people are for the fame, for the glory. I'm in it for 
a name for myself, baby. I, I'm in it for a name. Let me tell you, I'm in it for a name. This is a, Watch this blue. Take it, take it. I'm upset. I'm what upset. what a deranged individual we have in Iron Sheik. Shit. How did you find Please, this man? Touch how, my head. How, how did you find this man, Iron Sheik? I mean, Nikolai Volkov. You and Nikolai Lazy were... Russian. Nikolai Volkov. Lazy Russian. Deserted me. Luscious Lou. 100% wrestler. 100% muscle. The claw. Lazy Russian. Volkov. Hakto. Iran. Number one. Luscious Lou. Number one. Sheik. Number one, Bob Becklin, King Kong, Kramer, Hak To, Hak To Thread. On my hand, please. I'm not finished yet. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we'll be waiting for you. Rematch, physical fitness, fatso, King Kong, Kramer, 400 pound of fat. Bullshit, bullshit. Well, King Kong, Kramer, getting on his case. Rowdy Roddy Sr. mimicking King Kong Crow. Oh, look at this. I don't believe this. On, on national tell unbelievable. Well, we've seen enough of these three, I tell you right now. Joining me will be King Kong Kramer. And oh, oh, look out. Oh, my, oh, my goodness, wrestling fans. These two yeah, are. Baby, they, they, they are. are. This, this is outrageous. I tell you, these guys think they can come into your interview area and run your show. I tell you. It's the same way that they're destroying the wrestling in America. Young people, look up to guys like Bob and myself. We know what the American dream's about. These guys are nothing. They're nothing. They shouldn't even be allowed to ring with us. Come December 14th in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, they're done. They say the claw, we have all American wrestling on our side. There you have it, folks. The American dreams, King Kong, Kramer, Bob Backlund. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you're glad to see this face back on your screen. Look at that face right there. Bob Backlund, out of the hospital. Nice to have you back, big guy. Well, thank you, Vince. I'm glad to be back. Uh, tell us about your injury, Bob. I mean, uh, the claw, it must have been. Injury. Well, Vince, I'll tell you what. The claw, the kids, that's one problem. He gave me the claw, put me into the hospital. Big problem he gave me. He said it was a coma. It was just a partial coma. Slightly detached my retina. Uh, there was no real problem. I'm back. I'm back in my physical fitness training. It's great to hear, Bob. As I can see, you look like you've been out lifting weights, running constantly. How about for the fans at home? Show them what you got there. Oh, oh, look at that rock, folks. You've really got to appreciate an American like this. Bob Backlund, King Kong Kramer. Well, a man that's very, very well proportioned everywhere, as we've heard. King Kong, you have to be utterly perturbed about that last match in Madison Square Garden. Well, I tell you, Vince, you know, I'm really upset about that. My buddy here, Bob, they put him in the hospital. They maimed him. This, they do to me. I have no teeth no more. Oh, oh, oh look ah, at this. Look at that. Close. See that? Go, go show him a close camera shot there. Look at that. Unbelievable. Oh, I have my. nothing. I've been disgraced, Vince. So now it's my turn. Right now, on national television here today, I am putting a $50,000 bounty on the head of Luscious Lou. He must pay for what he's done to Bob Backlund. Any man, any man that can put him out of professional wrestling gets $50,000. Well, wrestling fans, you've heard it. That should make for some nice Saturday night at the Pittsburgh Civic Arena. Bob Backlund, $50,000. That must make you happy with the support you're getting. Well, Vince, it doesn't really make me that happy for the simple reason that I'm out there for the kids. I'm not out there for the money. Uh, you know, I'm out there for the fans. The fans are all of mine. These people come in here. They think they can deface the WWF, what it is today. I don't appreciate that. I thank King Kong for that. It's for himself. Oh, 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 my! Look out! Oh, a Pearl Hart! Oh no! Wrestling fans, this is unreal! Bob, oh my goodness! This Saturday night, Pittsburgh Civic Arena, the, the claws being, oh, I don't believe, Saturday night, Pittsburgh Civic Arena, be there! Wrestling action! Dear Charlie, what a joy today. The little one we thought we'd lost has now gained two pounds.
For 20 years, Peace Corps projects have been helping people live better. All over the world, Peace Corps volunteers are building lasting friendships. <laughs> and that means a better future for us all. Just ask my friends here about that. Peace Corps, the toughest job you'll ever love. Making news. And now the news. Brian Call is run over by a car at the Sigma Pi house. And in other news, Dan Upham's broadcasting career is in jeopardy. The Edinburgh Lady Spiking Scots win national title, and Penn State crushes Pitt in their own backyard. We'll be back in a moment with details on these and other stories. <laughs> Watching television is becoming more complicated. Every week, there's local programming, network, cable, and pay TV. All those channels, all those shows, all those choices. To help you watch the best that's on, pick up a copy of the best, TV Guide. With detailed listings, expanding cable coverage, and in-depth articles. Pick up this week's TV Guide. TV Guide helps you decide. Brian Crawl, who lives in the Sigma Pi house here in Edinburgh, was struck by a car and trapped under it. The car had to be lifted off him by his fellow brothers. The driver of the car was later apprehended and charged with drunk driving, driving with an expired license, and attempted homicide. <clears throat> Brian suffered bruised ribs, bruised back, and severe lacerations, and a mild concussion. Officials stated that it was a miracle he is still alive. And in other news, Dan Upham, a well-known sports commentator, has been admitted to St. Vincent's Health Center. Dan is believed to have contracted AIDS. His homosexual lover, Brian Krolski, denies this accusation by stating that he is not in the backdoor action. Dan is in fair condition and, as always, is gay in spirit. And now, here's Mark with sports action. Thank you, Brad. The Edinburgh Lady Spiking Scots ca captured a national women's volleyball title by defeating the California School for the Blind 16-14, 15-11, 18-16, and 15-nothing. 6'5", 265-pound Olga Jarab sparked the Lady Scots hitting out of the middle. One California player had to be rushed to the hospital for the removal of a volleyball that was spiked into her face. After the ball was removed, she had the word Wilson tattooed on her forehead. Doctors say that it will remain there the rest of her life. Penn State defeated Pitt 31-0 on Saturday night after the stomping head coach Foz Fazio was fired from the Panther organization. When Fazio was contacted, he had no comment. The weather's next right after this. Don't mess with my girl. You want to be tough like me, Mr. T? Then eat Mr. T cereal, fortified with vitamin C, to make you strong, Mr. T. Uh, I'll kill the fool who don't Mr. T cereal. Today's weather looks simply great. There's no chance of rain predicted. The wind is out of the east at 5 miles per hour. The barometric pressure is at 30.2 and rising. And the weather for today will be mostly sunny, high of 85, low of 63. Bradley, we have simply a beautiful day outside today. Sure is. And one final note, at 8 o'clock tonight at the Erie Civic Center, Dr. Bobby D. Wallace will be taking his tag team championship wrestlers, Brenda Heido and... Sean Henderson up against Ed St. George's snoot team, Roddy Delena and Brenda Heidel. That's it for News Brief. Tune in at 11 o'clock for these and other stories. For Mark Wallace, I'm Brad Kellogg reporting. This has been News Brief, an up-to-the-minute look at late-breaking events. Join us this evening at 11 for complete details.
This is WICU Erie.